sun is up, it's a beautiful day My beginning will be as bright as the sun Come, won't you come along And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart Doesn't matter how far There is so much love to give Something's telling me this time Everybody enjoy the breakfast that's fantastic. So anyways, when you live in the woods, you got to you, you got to be using this highly advanced technological wonder of a security system that keeps the raccoons out of your trash <laughs> well you guys today is a big day on the homestead oh that's ooh, that's bright you see the light on my face that is the sunrise reflecting off of the river and just blasting blasting me with light the screens cloudy Hang on a second. Uh. Uh. Well, anyways, guys, big day on the homestead. And I'm going to tell you why. Because today we are prepping for an even bigger day on the homestead. So a couple of weeks ago, there's a guy named Brad. And he runs a YouTube channel called Copper Creek Cuts. So a couple of weeks ago, well, geez, it's probably been a month or more over a month now uh, ago that Brad from Copper Creek Cuts contacted me and he was like hey Devin uh, saw your videos looks like you could use a little bit of land clearing he just so happens to own and operate a van track for 250 I believe it is or 4520 I think it's 4520 <clears throat> anyways van track big wide machine whole bunch of wheels big old brush cutting blades <clears throat> so anyways he's gonna come and he offered to come out here for free uh, and help us clear some of our land he's probably gonna give us I don't know over a thousand dollars worth of of land clearing work for free so thank you Brad we're super excited that you're coming I can't wait I'm gonna get things ready for you today brother gonna get all of our lawn furniture and things cleared up and out of the way so that when you get here all you got to start doing is brush bust and baby so if you're wondering why all this stuff is out here it's because my wife Catherine God bless her heart is a consummate decorator inside and outside if anyone would like to hire her for her services she's available and even though we rarely have ever used it, we have a decorated backyard. It's very inviting. With several different chairs and bench options for you to rest your keister on. Right, well, before I get too much more busy doing the other things and the, getting out the tools and the string trimmer, I do want to go back to the garden, check on the progress and uh, give it a water. We had storm clouds rolled through last night, but the rain and the clouds all stayed just to the north of us, and we didn't actually get any rain. So, let's see if we got anything popping up. Yep, there's one, that's a bean plant. Oh, there's another one, <laughs> two bean plants. Let's see what else we got. That. That's something else popping up there. I believe those are either the uh, squash or the zucchini. There's another one. That's a weed. That's a root right there. Get him out of there. There's another one. All right. So just in the first row, we've got beans, squash, zucchini, and tomatoes sprouting. Here's some more sprouts. And these are the butternut squash. These are my favorite. Beans, beans, beans. 
more beans uh zucchini i believe so far i am very pleased we've got a lot of plants coming up a few in each row and i don't believe that we waited too late i think we're still in a good window we should still be able to get some good production and food out of this garden this year You know, I was just at Ace Hardware yesterday and I forgot to get a stinking watering can. I got sand, I had to get our propane tanks filled up for the RV and totally didn't think to get a stinking watering can. Does anybody else do that? Like you go to the store and you've got five things you need and you get four, but you leave out one and it's usually the most important one. Uh, my goal today is to get a watering can. Oh, well, that went right in the face. Alright, the garden beds are watered. Now I'm heading back to the back because we're going to get ready for Mr. Brad coming in with his van track to clear our land for clear some land for us. And uh, I'm going to get my string trimmer. Because we cleared by hand, because we have a handful of decent sized stumps that are probably five or six inches tall and now they are covered and hidden with grass uh, I'm going to string trim I'm gonna go around and string find those stumps string trim around them so they can be easily seen so he doesn't run you know full speed into a thick stump and stop his machine or break something as you can see I'm already starting to sweat and it is about, I'm going to guess, 8, 8.30. Looks like a good place to start. pretty low cut and and just then before I cut the grass off around them they were pretty well hidden and I don't want him to hit that something like that might break his deck on his mower but look at this grass y'all this grass is up to my knees and I don't know what kind of grass this is it just kind of naturally started growing in here when we cleared the forest. It's been mowed about three or four times with a lawnmower before my lawnmower broke on me and it's just starting to thrive and I just got to think and hope and imagine that as we clear more of the land up there on the front side of the property where we're going to be having pasture for sheep and chickens, maybe a cow, I don't know. I would really love to have our own milk, but Maybe we do goats and have goat milk. I don't know. I don't know. We just have 11 acres. In three of it, it's wetlands that we're not going to be running cattle through. So that leaves me with eight acres, of which one will be uh, probably yeah, about one, one and a half will be the house and backyard. We're not going to run animals in our backyard going out to the water. We just, we want to keep that our little clean paradise. No poop, no nothing. We would probably plant some fruit trees or something back here. Make it beautiful. And maybe run the chickens around back here to help fertilize stuff. But sheep, goats, and cows, I don't know. When I'm standing on my back porch in the morning and I'm looking at this beautiful view right here, I just don't want it to be broken up with cows and goats. Judge me if you want. That's just my personal preference. You have yours. Do what you want to on your land. As long as you're growing something and, and 
and taking care of your family with your with, with what you've got, then God bless you. <laughs> you guys got it good.